This is a video response to spotting a fake natural three uh, growing into a show a la Lame Nordstrom. Um, I want to start off by saying that the person that did this video is full of it because obviously they're worried about something. They stated in the beginning that they're not worried about um, the fact that people cheat or do things to make a living. Um, and, and the only reason that he did the video was just to share his opinion to his viewers. Well, let me just say this. If you didn't have an agenda, if it didn't bother you, you would not have brought up a name that everyone is familiar with and then everyone knows about. And that everyone can easily figure out, even with your um, name, Lame Nordstrom. Um, so, and, and the other thing that, that I, I really feel like the guy who made this video flat out lied when he said he doesn't have a moral problem with people who lie or cheat to make a living. And um, you, know, you really should have a problem with that because... Um, Go back to the golden rule. Treat others like you want to be treated. And people that lie are lying to you. And you don't want to be lied to. And neither do I. And I think that I'm speaking for everybody when I say people don't like to be lied to. So I think that right there, in my mind, is enough to say, hey, you know, I think you really do have a problem with it. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't have called out the person that you called out. Um, and then you, you talked about this person... And you said that they grow into a show. Really? Um, the only stat I heard you quote was that he's around 5'10", 190 pounds in contest condition. And, uh, but then you went on to say that this guy grows into the show. And you said, well, if you look at his arms in this picture and then look at his arms in the next picture, it's obvious that he's grown. Yet the pictures that you linked don't even work. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um... And you didn't quote any measurements. And I know for a fact you didn't measure him yourself. And you certainly didn't weigh him. And you did not state a weight that he started at when he began his contest prep. So how do you know that he actually grew into the show? Hmm. I think I know what happened. That illusion that you said is non-existent actually is existent. Let me demonstrate. If you look at me... I'm not very lean, okay? I don't have striated delts. If you look from the side, my delts don't have a whole lot of pop, okay? Now, as I get leaner, what's going to happen? The body fat that has encapsulated my delts is going to go away. And this area right here is going to shrink. And you're going to see more pop from my delts, thus creating the illusion that I'm carrying more muscle mass even though my body weight may in fact be lower. So that's just one example of how an illusion is created. You can say what you want to say, it's there. The next thing that you went on to talk about was probably the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. And you said that the reason that he yells and gets fired up and pumped up before a lift is because he is on steroids. He's on some kind of pre-workout androgen or something. Some nonsense. I don't even know. Uh, hmm. You got any info to back that up? Because, yes, your video is strictly your opinion, but let me just throw this out there. If you want someone to take your opinion seriously, you need to have something to at least make your opinion credible, okay? Take a car salesman, for example. If he's trying to sell you a car and he says, you should buy this one, the first thing the customer is going to say is, why? And if he says, no, oh, it's just my opinion, I think you should buy this one, what's the customer going to say? They're not going to buy that car, they want to know why. There has to be something to back up 
your opinion. Yes, your opinion needs something to back it up. You want people to take it seriously. Obviously, you want people to take this opinion seriously because you called someone out. Let's not forget that. Um, the next thing that you mentioned was that um, you know some lifters in the UK who are national record holders in drug-tested federations. And then you said that um, Lane Norton blows them away. And basically, without using these words, you just said, because Lane beats these drug-tested guys, he's automatically a user. He has to be on steroids. There's no way he couldn't be if he beats these guys. Also, Lane has competed in untested federations and beat untested athletes. Therefore, he has to be on steroids. No. How can that be? There's, there's no proof there. It's just saying something. I mean, okay, take me for example. I'm not the greatest power lifter there is. I do, however, have a higher 220 class raw total than Lane Norton. I have a 1708 raw total at 220. No wraps. 600 squat, 446 bench, and a 661 deadlift. Oh, did I mention it was in the USPA? That's an untested federation. Does that mean that I'm on steroids? No, it does not. I will give you a number that I have from a tested federation where I was actually randomly selected and drug tested the day I put up that total. I put up a 1655 total in the AAU in the 198 raw class, no knee reps. I had a 578 squat, a 418 bench, and a 655 deadlift. So if we do the math on that, I think that's 1655. Let's see here, 578 plus 418, well that's 978, um, whatever, I'll let you do the math. It's a 1652 or something total, drug free, I was actually tested at that meet, okay, that number still stands. Um, so just because someone competes in an untested federation does not mean that they're on steroids. Um, so with that said, could you please make a video and call me out, I'll even let you use my name. I'll let you use my name. It's um, Zach, Z-A-C-K, McDole, M-C-D-O-L-E. I'd, I'd be more than willing to uh, let you call me out. I will even, um, if you wanted, uh, send you pictures of my bodybuilding days uh, where I'm five foot seven, 180-something pounds with cap and striated delts. I'm natural drug-free. How is that possible? Five seven, 180? How can that be? How can that be? Wait, that can't be because Frank Zane, he was only 185 pounds and he was an IFBB Mr. Olympia. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so, um, Mr. Blah Blah, please, um, the next time you make a video, you've got to provide something to back up your opinion. Um, you can't just spew stuff. If you want people to take you seriously, and I know you want people to take you seriously because you called someone out in this video, you need to back yourself up. Um, let me know if you want to call me out. I'd be more than happy to provide you with any information that you need on myself. Thanks. Have a great day.